So often we talk about the least reliable vehicles or low predicted reliability ratings, vehicles to avoid, don't buy this, don't buy that, reasons to skip, and so on. Well, let's give you some positive. Those are important topics. We have to discuss those as well because we want to watch out for you. But there are some good vehicles out there. These are the longest lasting, most reliable vehicles on the road based on a study from iccars.com. I'll put a link to the study below this. Here they are. I'll give you the mileage in a moment and then some background on how they came to these numbers. But here they are in order. Uh, number one, Toyota Sequoia, Land Cruiser, Suburban, Tundra, Yukon XL, Prius, Tahoe, Ridgelined, Avalon, and Highlander Hybrid. I'll give you the mileage here in a second. To determine this top 10 list, I see cars analyzed more than 2 million cars produced and sold for at least a decade for the past 20 model years. From there, they ranked each model by its highest mileage achieving cars. And one major takeaway, your best bet is probably buying a Toyota regardless of what some mechanics on YouTube will tell you. Let's look at that list one more time, going from 10 to number one on the longest lasting based on mileage here or potential lifespan of those vehicles. The Highlander Hybrid has a potential lifespan of nearly 245,000 miles. That's great to hear. The Avalon, 245,000. 248,000 for a Ridgeline, 250 for a Tahoe, same goes for a Prius, a little bit better with the Yukon XL at 252,000 miles, 256 for a Tundra, 265 for a Suburban, then we're in the 280 range for a Land Cruiser, and the best, nearly 300,000 miles of potential lifespan with your Sequoia. Uh, quote here, what we see is a list of highly durable vehicles capable of more than a quarter million miles of use if properly maintained. And to be clear, the study isn't reporting the maximum lifespan of these vehicles. This is simply a measure of current odometer readings. Most of these cars are still in use and are going strong. little refresher here, according to CNBC and other outlets as well, the average transaction price for a new car peaked this past November uh, they cited a report from the LMC Automotive and J.D. Power. The average estimated price for a new car hit a whopping $45,872. Still, another report by HIS Market found the average time a car stays on the road also hit an all-time high as well. In 2022, the report indicated that the average age of vehicles on the road today now stands at 12.2 years. So consider these vehicles. Obviously, Toyota is what you want to lean strongly toward. What I'm curious about is what's the highest odometer reading that you've had on your vehicle? Has anyone gone over 200,000? Has anyone reached 250? Anybody over 300,000 miles? Leave the make and model and year of that vehicle in the comment section below. This ought to be a good one. I think it'd be interesting to read those and, and see the interaction there. I did this in a previous video, but I have some updated information on discontinued vehicles in the near future, at least in 2024, as well as 2023. There were more than two dozen vehicles discontinued for 2022. I won't go into that list, but here's another dozen that won't make it into 2023. The Acura ILX, bye-bye. Coming up on uh, the Acura NSX as well, won't be here next year. Buick Encore, Chevrolet Spark. Ford GT, Fiat 500X, no one's going to miss that one, Honda Insight, Hyundai Veloster N, Infiniti Q60, Lexus RX L won't be here in 2023. There is an RX debuting, a new one in 2023, but the L won't be here. Mercedes AMG CLS 53, the A-Class for Mercedes-Benz, no longer. Uh, the Subaru WRX STI won't be around for 2023, although you can still buy a new WRX in 2023. The Avalon, ah, sad to see that one gone. Volkswagen Passat, also gone. So those will discontinue for 2023. New information, discontinue for 2024 that I found. The Audi R8, Dodge Challenger, Dodge Charger, Dodge Hellcat models. Does that surprise you? Leave your thoughts below. Love to see that conversation there as well. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make, model, and your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area 
on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.